I have a Samsung RS263 TDBP side-by-side -side and after a power outage, the control panel just has one blinking bar, three from the bottom or five down from the top, on the fridge temperature indicator. I've tried every combination of pressing buttons to reset it but it won't reset. The freezer is working fine but the fridge won't cool. It appears that the fan is not kicking on to blow the cold air from the coils throughout the fridge. There was no ice keeping the fan from spinning but there was ice built up on the coils. I defrosted that with a hair dryer and have tried unplugging the fridge for extended periods of time but the fridge just won't work right even though the freezer works great. I'm not sure what parts to replace as it sounds like someone had a similar issue without ever getting it resolved so I'm not sure if I just need to replace the fridge. HTTPS colon slash www.justanswer.com slash appliance slash 8TJQ3 Samsung RS263 TDBP side side fridge not cooling properly HTML. The site will give an additional option to speak by phone which you can ignore if you want. I don't send this the site will send this automatically. Thanks Tyler. What hash do I call to better explain my issue over the phone? Thanks. Dane. Hello? I'd be fine paying the additional amount to talk over the phone but I'm first trying to figure out if this issue is easily repairable or if it is time to replace this POS fridge. It seems like every Samsung owner is having the same problem with the refrigerator side. Understood. Now I see you've used this service twice before and failed to rate the expert positively. So I'm going to help, but if you fail to rate this time, you won't be able to get help again. The error you're getting means that the compressor has failed. Typically you can just reset the error after a power outage, but if it won't reset or the problem comes back, you'll need to replace the compressor. To reset the error, you should just need to press and hold the lighting and energy saver button for 10 seconds together at the same time and it should reset the error if it can be reset. Again, if that doesn't work, you'll need a new compressor because the power outage shorted out the compressor. We are on the honor system here. If you need anything else, just let me know. You can continue asking follow-up questions at no additional charge after rating my service if you still need assistance. Hi Tyler, unfortunately the other two issues I needed help with didn't get resolved which is why I didn't leave reviews but I will for you as I appreciate your help. Are there two compressors because the freezer is working great and the fridge even appears to be generating cool air but the air isn't being circulated throughout the fridge? Which compressor would need to be replaced and then are we sure that there isn't another problem with the fan motor? The fan motor shouldn't have any problem, there would be another error if the board through there was a problem with the fan. But there is only one compressor, but it is a dual evaporator system so there is an expansion valve which directs free onto the refrigerator or freezer section. Sweet. I had held the lighting and energy saver buttons for 10 seconds at least 5 different times but I just tried it again with less pressure and it reset the control panel so I must have been pressing too hard before. I'm glad that is resolved. Now to the fan motor which may be the only other problem. I watched a YouTube video where a guy showed how to test the motor by checking the ohms and I got about 1.63 which is what he said was correct. He then connected wires to the fan motor and plugged it into an outlet to give 120 volts to see if the fan motor would turn on. I did that this morning and there was a brief spark upon connecting them and the fan motor never turned on. I then checked ohms again and not getting anything so I'm wondering if my test ended up damaging the motor. I did the exact same thing as the technician showed on YouTube but not sure why it would have damaged it. 
What's the best way to make sure the motor is indeed bad before ordering a new one? Hopefully with that, the fridge will work normally again. Thanks for your help. Hey. It's possible you could have damaged the motor trying to test it that way. You'll need to wait and see once it's been cooling down for a bit if it starts running. If not, then replace the fan motor as well. Thanks. So when should that fan kick on so I know if it's working properly or not? Is that the evaporator fan or is it to blow air throughout the fridge? I guess I'll order one anyway just to be safe. I'm rating you right now and really appreciate your help. So first, the fans inside only run after the coils get cool, 30 minutes or so, and when the doors are closed. The fan backed by the compressor should run any time the compressor is running. Okay thanks Tyler. Of course and good luck to you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.